Dennis Dodd is back on the Pac-12 again this week. Now, last week, he spoke with Arizona's president, and uh, some of the more interesting notes that came out of that were that conference presidents don't have any financials yet. There's no sign that they are close to a new media rights deal, and that none of the presidents want to dive headfirst into majority streaming, as most of them seem to believe that their next deal is still going to have a large linear aspect to it. Now, that linear versus streaming part shocked me, and it looks like Dodd thought the same thing because he went like around asking about it. Like His new article at CBS is titled, Pac-12 Unlikely to Reach Media Rights Deal with More Than 50% of Games Airing on TV, Longtime Consultant Says. It gets into a discussion with Jim Williams, of course, the media consultant and Forbes contributor that I've referenced multiple times on this show now. Uh, Williams said in the article, he said, I am at an absolute loss how NBC, CBS, ESPN, ABC, or Fox gets the Pac-12 to 50%. I don't know how anybody could sit there and assure you that we're going to have that much on linear. I don't see how they get there. And, And Williams should have an idea about this stuff. He's been doing this since 1977. He's won seven Emmy Awards as a producer, including one each for Big Ten football and basketball. He's got two for Major League Baseball. And he helped develop five different regional sports networks. Like, to put this into context, uh, the Big 12, who is really the closest conference competitor to the Pac-12, they'll have, at minimum, 70% of their games on linear television guaranteed. Now, we can argue about whether or not being on a channel like ESPNU is great exposure, Uh, But it certainly beats being behind a subscriber-based paywall on Apple TV where the only people that are going to see the game are the people that are actively looking for it, right? Uh, The reason everybody's paying attention to this Pac-12 deal is because the lack of a good deal could, of course, lead to more realignment. We've talked about it for a long time. It's widely rumored that the Pac-12 needs to get a a per-school deal that's close to the Big 12's $31.6 million in order to keep all 10 schools together. And the fact that expansion with San Diego State who just played in the college basketball national championship game, uh, that that deal has not been done yet, that just kind of throws gasoline on the fire here. Because honestly, the Pac-12 can't really offer any new members without the current members knowing what their situation is going to look like. Now again, Arizona President Robbins admitted that the presidents haven't even been presented with potential financials. Like they're working on potential future budgets based on their current deal right now, which is not a common deal. Uh, This part of the article was interesting to me, okay? Uh, It said, short of a major linear carrier, Williams sees value in both ION and the CW networks. So it said, ION, owned by Scripps Company, is a general entertainment network that is in 37 of the top 50 markets and was mentioned early in the process by Action Network as having conversations with the Pac-12. Now, the CW is majority owned by Nexstar Media Group. It's uh, the group of stations that reportedly reaches 100% of U.S. television markets it provides 14 hours of primetime programming per week. Its most notable sports property currently is Live Golf. Now, Williams said uh, that the Pac-12 could get there with ION or with CW. Uh, he said, personally, if I were talking to one of these presidents, I would have zero problem with CW. They've got legacy television stations all over the country. I've said it five or six times. Uh, if they want to prove me wrong, I'm happy. I've been proven wrong before. I'll be proven wrong in the future. Both of those two are legit broadcasters. Now, the options appear to be dwindling these days. The New York Post reported last month that ESPN once had a deal on the table for the Pac-12 that was equal to the Big 12 number, $31.6 million per school, uh, but that offer has apparently since been revoked, according to the Post. Uh, Williams said this, I think where we are right now is Apple would take a piece and maybe play with Amazon to give them a Friday night game, uh, Williams said. The trickier part is who then becomes the linear part. How are you going to be able to tell Apple yes? How do you tell Amazon yes if you've got ADs and presidents who are saying, no, no, we can't do this? Like, that's a very interesting question. Things are are getting trickier for Klyovkov and the conference. Uh, The presidents have, for all intents and purposes, talked themselves into a corner. Like, I don't know that it's a good thing that so many school presidents and ADs are feeling the need to come out and state that the schools are, you know, united and that things are looking good, while also publicly telling reporters their expectations for a deal that's not even here yet. Uh, Again, I've said it multiple times. Uh, This is a complete disaster. I don't know how they're going to be able to wrap this all up and present whatever deal they get in a way that makes everybody happy, at least in the the Pac-12 world. Uh, Because right now it is, whew, it's a mess. Hey, if you like this video... 
go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.